Hey guys, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome back if you're coming back. So many of my friends and family were interested when I purchased my glamper, um, which is a trailer camper RV that I decided to take on as a project to not completely remodel, but kind of just like give a facelift to. Um, so it was more aesthetically pleasing and modern and cozy, really. <laughs> and so many people had interest in it. So I said, you know, I'm going to keep it kind of hush while it's under construction. And when it's done, I'll do a little bit of a video going over how I did the revamping. You'll see a little bit more about the different updates that I did, how they went, where you can get the materials. Well, you guys, first and foremost, I'm going to tell you when I wanted to do this project, I was like, okay, there's some damage that I do have to address. I thought most of it was going to be cosmetic, but um, I just did not have the knowledge of what to look for. In the future, I definitely do. So uh, it's really common for RVs, campers, trailers to get water damage. It's a little bit of a leak can really seep into the, the bones of the structure. So there's different ways to attend to that. There's actually wood hardeners that are made for water damaged wood. As long as the frame is still strong, then you're good to go. But unfortunately, even when you seal the roof and you harden the wood back and you make sure everything is secure, unless you rip it all apart, there's gonna be areas that show the old water damage. So as you can see here, we have the seating area that um, I decided I was gonna cover these with a different color, but because of the choices that I made for the countertops, I ended up keeping them because um, it kind of just popped with the wood. And I really liked having the uh, this kind of brown um, natural warm color along with the black curtains and the greenery that I put around so uh, underneath here now these cushions double for the bed back there and so there is a little area here that I actually had to put a bonding tape in um, it's like a mesh tape use it to fix holes in drywall so um, you basically put the tape down and then there is some putty that you put and I slide it down with them and you use a putty knife or you use like this uh, plastic flat um, tool to smooth it all out. So it's kind of like frosting a cake. That's basically what I did to smooth out this area. And I did it in the corner and some um, different areas in the, in the, in the RV. So that was not, was not exactly something I wanted to sign up to do. But again, you know, I wanted it to look nice, but I wanted it to be safe for whoever was in it. So that was a big one. Um, just be prepared that you, if you do get a trailer, if you do get an RV, you want it to be structurally sound. And any kind of damage, you want to tend to that before you start making everything look pretty. So the next project. As you can see, this is the seating area that also has a bed up here. Um, I wouldn't recommend people to use that as a bed just because it did have the previous water damage. It's good now, but honestly, I wouldn't risk it with like having little kids up there. But it should be good for storage. And I decided to paint everything up here nice and white and crisp. Uh, but you see like the remnants of the old water damage and moisture. Um, and then I kept this wood so that everything kind of meshes well in the seating area here. guys let's talk about paint um <laughs> i know it's like one of the obvious changes that we made is that it was brown and now it's white and trust me it seems easy to paint right like oh of course just change the paint the painting was one of the most labor intensive parts of this project and let me tell you why in a camper everything is a cabinet <laughs> And um, for anybody who's ever painted anything, cabinets are not normal types of paint, okay? You actually need a very durable paint for a cabinet because it's something that takes a lot of abuse. So cabinet paint is a little more expensive. If you use a different kind of paint, then it'll either peel off from the moisture when it's out, you know, outside being used. Um, it can start to just come off really easily. Um, you could potentially have to prime and sand before everything. Uh, so it's a lot of work. It's a lot of nooks and crannies of um, cabinetry. And uh, as you can see here, even the hardware has been painted. So all of that had to be taken off. And this is not normal hardware where you just like pull a knob. Some of them you do, but most of them have these little devices here. These little devices that you have to um, pull and then 
twist a little bit for it to open the latch because it latches and that's how they stay closed when you're driving and, and towing it. So all of those had to come off and get um, painted. I painted them with um, spray paint with Rust-Oleum and the rest of the paint was one of the most expensive parts of the project to be honest and I got that on Amazon. It was specifically made for cabinetry but to be honest it was totally worth the what I spent for it. I thought I would need one. I ended up needing three. So you guys, I really wanted to keep the original drapes. Um, first I was like, no, I'm going to get rid of them. And then I was like, what can I do to dye the fabric? Because they were really heavy duty. Um, so I did try to dye the fabric and it was a big fail. Um, I ended up already doing my research on Amazon for what would be a good drape alternative. So I came up with these. And I ended up getting five total packs for the entire place. And um, I also got new hoops for the top to hang them. The drapes really finished everything off, but I also did a lot of DIY upholstering. So since we're in the front, I want to show you that there are a couple little kickstand things. I covered those myself with some material. And um, I just folded it over and then used my staple gun. So I did not sew anything. <laughs> this is also a little valise that was in the kitchen. And um, this is the same material. And again, I folded it over and um, stapled it with my staple gun. This was not here. This was added um, or it was somewhere else. But I just decided to put it here and we made sure to um, paint it so that it matched everything. This little headboard. I actually reupholstered uh, myself, which is just, I just did it with a staple gun <laughs> and, and it worked just fine. So those few little touches, um, you know, saved on the budget. I wanted to keep as much of the old as I could do that it still looked right, you know, um, and then get new stuff too. But honestly, my big thing was I wanted to do this on a budget. Like I feel like anybody with a huge budget could redo, but I'm not trying to spend more on this camper. Um, I wasn't trying to spend more on the camper than it was worth, right? Like I was just trying to make it look cute, but do it as much on a budget as possible. So I get more out of that than just having some unlimited budget. Anybody could just buy whatever and knock everything down and rebuild it. Like why would I even get an older one to do all that? So let's see, another thing that I got from Amazon was this black splash material. So that is something, another DIY. Um, not the easiest to put on, but it's holding on strong and I got some additional adhesive for that to keep it. But it definitely leaves a really nice impact for the kitchen um, since it wasn't a whole lot done. You can see here that this still needs a good scrub down. But I just got some little accents, like these little, you know, plants and, and stuff that kind of went with the motif, right? So there's still, you can put a radio in, you can do all that kind of stuff. I didn't bother doing that. Again, to stick with the budget, um, I wanted to keep what I could. So I actually liked this. It, I just felt like it was a cool and funky kind of thing and it was original. That's what it looks like closed. So I was like, hey, these are going to stay. And since I knew these were going to stay, these are original and that's original. I kind of tried to design around it, right? I wanted, I knew that I wanted to stick with like woody stuff and, um, you know, my neutral, I kind of went back and forth. I wanted it to be gray, but then I just went with black because I was like, that's going to give it that contrast and interest. And, um, oh, let me put this guy back. So I'm going to come back with my command strips and command strip everything up. But for right now, that works. I have a couple hooks I'm going to put up, but, and I also have, um, this, this roll of, uh, this was from Hobby Lobby. Um, just redid the refrigerator just so that it would like, you know, um, blend and look nice. So that was important. All right. Now we're going to the back of the trailer. So look at all these cabinets, you guys. <laughs> and I painted the ceilings too, because once you get started, you're like, no, it needs this. No, it needs this. No, it needs this. <laughs> it doesn't stop. That's why at some point you just have to call it like, okay, we're done. And that's kind of what I had to do. So yes, yeah, so you have like the little privacy screen, which is nice. Um, you know, you can have it open or close. If someone's sleeping back here, um, this is actually a bed um, that comes down to make this a bunk bed. And that I would absolutely 100% use um, and put the kids up there or whatever. Or you can use it for storage. So down here, I did not end up getting a mattress because like I said, I'm not going to keep it. But there is this mattress that um, actually fits up here as a perfect mattress. And it fits up there as a perfect mattress. But I would use it for this one. And then put an air mattress here. So it's super simple to do. Um, there's storage underneath and there's a water tank underneath there. 
so yeah um the mirror is original so i wanted to keep this bright and open you know because i just imagine myself sitting here the floors obviously have been redone but it is the old toilet and it needs a good scrub down it's the original um bath uh door but again i feel like that goes with the different colors that we used um the topper even was original and i felt like they were similar enough and honestly like i said i kind of called the project they're both warm tone so that works but yeah i mean there these are the areas that are not very updated but because we're going with the warm tones um it works again that roll from hobby lobby and that was a brand new uh vent window up there so wanted to keep that you know fresh for the new people it doesn't need to get scrubbed out still this medicine uh cabinet mirror original lamp and this is something that i thought was cool on the door it has like a nice little intricate kind of door um hanger and then you know some extra storage which you always need a camper a mirror where you can see me hi <laughs> and uh, let's see and then this huge closet in here which I did not paint inside of the closet because I was like you know is that necessary but it actually has like this cool little thing that you can put your um toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff and it has the original cup so you know it's always kind of compact in there nice little accessory and then you know more cabinets back here so it actually does have a, a ton of storage oh um the countertops so these um are actually not real counters <laughs> if you didn't guess but i mean could you tell could you tell really could you tell i couldn't tell <laughs> so this is peel and stick um and i did all the different toppers actually i had someone do it for me i'm not even gonna lie because i don't even like wrapping presents so I definitely did not want to do this, <laughs> but I did choose the finishings and I had someone do this and I had someone do the floors, but everything else I worked on. So don't get it twisted. I was out there with the Bondo with the flex seal up on top. And yes, I got flex seal from Amazon uh, to seal that new um, vent window up there. So yeah, here's the countertops. I got those on Amazon and I'll link them. I wanted to imagine myself sitting here, sleeping here, having the kids in the bunk bed, enjoying a book and being out in the great outdoors. So you know, I wanted it to be very serene, and I think that I accomplished that. It's one of the hardest parts of doing these videos is trying to find the right light. And I'm really trying for you, and I hope that when I'm editing this footage, it's not crap. But it's basically golden hour right now, and it's getting late, so I'm going to try to wrap it up. Okay, all the Bondo kind of stuff, the repairs, that's just not fun. That's not something that I want to take on. I'd rather have someone else do it. Um, it was nice to learn these parts of the renovation, but honestly, I'd rather pick out the finishings, and I'd rather make it look nice. So the painting, the painting was painstaking, okay? It was fun sometimes, and I felt a little relaxed while doing it, but again, I'm not one of those people, like, just painting white is not going to do it for me that much. Like, the finished product is what I'm looking for. So if I could just have someone else do that, I would. Um, a project like this, it's a lot of painting. I mean, a lot of painting. A lot of painting, okay? Every cabinet, every little nook and cranny, and I'm not talking about one layer, okay? This stuff took sometimes three layers. It was a lot of painting. A lot of painting. <laughs> So that part kind of sucked, but the paint that I had has been really durable and it's really lasting well, so I'm happy about that. I did a few of the countertops, I didn't do all of them, but the ones that like required a lot of like small pieces and stuff, I knew that that was best done by somebody else. The drapes I, I put up, I mean that really was a no-brainer, right? I even got on top of the on top of the trailer and took off the old window um, and I flex sealed on top of the trailer to make it more watertight. That was not hard. You just have to have a ladder to get up there. <laughs> and of course there's been a lot of cleaning, a lot of vacuuming and a lot of that. I did consider painting the outside, but you know, it's like that at this point, I feel like it all kind of goes together with the original paint anyway. As long as it's clean and it's watertight, then I think it's good to go. I don't think it needed that. Sure, if you really are worried about it, you can absolutely do it. But, you know, it's a nice trailer. For the price, I mean, it's really, it's a good deal. And plus, you own it. You're not supposed to be outside. <laughs> you say hi. Hi. Do you like the trailer? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Spider-Man! <laughs> that concludes my tour for today and um it was a fun project it really was like i said i definitely learned a lot from this one um i'm just proud of myself that i had the 
guts to try it. Um, when I posted online that I bought a trailer that I was going to renovate and make into my glamper, um, I had, you know, a few hundred people reach out saying that they really wanted to do something similar. Like, I think people have this nomadic kind of idealism like oh it sounds so fun I wish I could do that I wish I could do that and I feel like this day and age there's so many things that are possible I mean anything is possible and the ability to work online the ability to travel you know it's something like a, a trailer and have your children with you and not have to worry about hotel rates and potty breaks and all that kind of stuff that goes along with traveling with children trust me parents know like it is not always even if you are an avid traveler like myself I love to travel and go on adventures but when you have little ones it makes it really hard so if you can have a home base that's right on your back like a turtle <laughs> you know and have food ready and have you know somewhere if you got to take a nap or use the restroom like you're there you know um, there's a lot of benefit to that to be able to go and explore and these days with co uh, COVID and everything um, going international traveling is not exactly ideal or taking flights is not exactly ideal the conditions are different so I just felt like it was a good time for it and um, yeah I think that if I get another one I'll probably get some pop outs because uh, my kids are still little and I have a teenager too and for him to be comfortable as well I think I might need a little bit more space but not necessarily have it as long because this is a 26 foot one and um, that's pretty long and when trailing when trailing when towing it in my car I feel like it my car tows so well but I'm always scared because it's so long <laughs> so I don't know I think I might change up a format a little bit but I'm definitely not trying to flip trailers like someone made that comment and I was like I don't have the energy for it there's not enough profit margin because this took a while doing it you know in the time that I had available I got it in October I think and we're we just started February and I'm finally pretty much calling it like okay I can keep tweaking on it just like when I'm doing beauty services okay you have to call it at some point because and even with art projects you have to call it at some point because you could keep tweaking on it some of these masterpieces from one of our greatest artists they took them you know years and years and sometimes a lifetime because you can just keep working on stuff unless you tell yourself you know okay that's that's good if you want your masterpiece to be something that takes you a decade then wonderful and some people's homes are kind of like that right which I think is great or uh, you know some project cars like they take them years to do but this is not I was just looking for like a fun project but I want to get it done like I don't want to like keep it I don't like un or incomplete projects that drives me a little bit crazy so I wanted to get it in wanted to enjoy it with my kids, have some fun, you know, like this is cool, and then keep it moving. And I kind of know what I want different next time, but I'm really proud that I was able to put something together. And my dream for this place is that maybe someone can park it and they can use it like, um, you know, for an extra bedroom for someone or like a guest bedroom for someone or, you know, just like use it as a living space, but not necessarily live in it and travel in it. Um, so yeah because I think it would be perfect for that because it's comfortable and it's something that I think that people would really enjoy and um, I guess that's kind of how I feel about houses too when I have a project that I'll tell you about upcoming in an upcoming video of a house that I gave some facelift makeovers to as well. Uh, no, no major renovation. Everything was done on a budget just like the stuff that you saw and I'm showing you the utility or the materials that I used. I'm showing you you know the if it was a problem if it was easy or not or whatever um but you know uh do it on a budget because sometimes you are on a budget and you still want it to look nice so that's something that i try to you know share with you because i don't care if i have a ton of money i don't necessarily want to just like blow it on one thing right so and i want to invest in things but yeah like a high profit margin right <laughs> so um thank you for watching thank you for paying attention to this project with me and seeing what feels like a successful project and um enjoying it with me and i hope that it inspires you to take on a project that maybe it feels a little overwhelming but you know if you stick it out you can definitely make it happen. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think.